one of the robots that I really enjoyed programming was the PCR42 made by Perdevco out of Canada. It's fully enclosed. You can the conveyor system that is the in feed and the conveyor system the out feed. You get it customized to your shop, so you can bring in large pieces. Um, let's look at it. Here it is, actually in Mertz. I put it on a. I built. I designed this stand per uh, Steve Ballinger's recommendation, and that way when the part we were gonna a lot of times people would make a use this to make things such as bridge beams or uh, beams that would be in like architectural long things we were gonna use it we used it to make shorter stuff and longer stuff but when there was a when there was a short part that would get that would fall off after it was cut off it would fall down below the floor level and there was a like a I called it the bulldozer system that would press, that would tr translate the parts out of this area, outside, so you didn't have to go into the building to get the part out because there was lasers and plasma, so it was kind of a risky environment in there. So let's uh, the guy that ran this, I programmed it. I wrote this. I wrote the code that would make it do the movement. The guy that actually operated it was John Turvey. Let's find John. John's he's he's such a cool guy. Check out what he does. He rides around on a motorcycle all over Oklahoma. And he he supports these younger people that are like wrestlers here, see? And also these soldiers. Yeah, he's pretty cool. But um you guys should follow him if you like if you like this type of content. I mean, that was the river, so I love it. Yeah. I wish I was there right now. But yeah, he's got some cool video. Oh, I know the... <laughs> oh, darn, he's famous. Alright, yeah, John Turvey. T-U-R-V-E-Y. You guys should follow him, he's cool. Alright, so... Yeah, that's one of the machines. Look, seven axis operations. I actually counted nine. Um, there it is, though. You can see how it works, right? Our, ours had a 400-watt uh, plasma torch on the end of it. It has a laser velocimeter, so it can measure as the material comes through. Wow! Ah, loud! Goodness, Perdevco. Should sue you guys, man. I'm just kidding. That's a rad song, bro. Makes me want to cut some metal up. Beveled cuts, look at that. Yeah. You can make this thing cut any way you want, dude. Any way you want. It's not necessarily easy. It's not necessarily hard either, but just requires a little dedication. That's all. Just some, just some following through with each step. Trust the process. <laughs> all right. This is getting boring. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining.